Nagenta. Tenakwe, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, today the government raised the petrol tax yet again. And the reason they've had to raise the petrol tax is because there's been a deficit between the money that's coming into the National Land Transport Fund, because New Zealanders are actually driving less. Uh, they've been driving less consecu consecutively for seven years now. And there's not enough money coming in to spend on what the National Party wanted to make a priority. So when the National Party came in, I remember very clearly because I was working as a transportation consultant for the New Zealand Transport Agency. And I remember being there in 2008 uh, when the people working at the New Zealand Transport Agency, who are experts in this, uh, were saying that this was very, very disturbing because the National Party was coming in and wanting to prioritize a few very expensive motorways that simply did not make economic sense and they had not been funded precisely for that reason and so uh, the National Party went ahead you know they were in government uh, and they decided to try and build a few of these big expensive uh, motorway projects that actually carry a very small percentage of daily vehicle trips at great expense so they're spending the largest share of the transport budget over 10 years on these motorway projects it's going to be 12 to 14 billion dollars on just a few projects that carry less than 4 percent of daily vehicle trips so they're not going to improve the commute of the vast majority of New Zealanders and they're not even going to affect most of the freight that's being moved around the country and at the same time road use has been declining and it's been declining for a number of reasons all around the rich countries uh, one of the reasons is because of higher petrol prices so as petrol prices go up people look for other alternatives of course in New Zealand they don't have many alternatives because successive governments have uh, built a very unbalanced transport system so unlike comparable countries comparable rich countries um, we don't have the same good public transport options good buses and trains and safe walking and cycling that they have in other countries countries. So as petrol prices go up, and now the government's putting up the petrol tax, so that's going to mean petrol's even more expensive, uh, road use does decline, and it has been declining for seven years now. And so the government had the option of perhaps revisiting its transport projects, which it did not. And so because there wasn't enough money in the transport budget uh, to pay for their crazy motorway promises, uh, and to also do the standard upkeep that was needed on our regional roads, the maintenance that was needed around the country, the government was then forced to put up the petrol tax, firstly, and that's what they're doing. Uh, but they're also now um, using the money from asset sales to pay for projects in the regions. Now, some of these projects, these road projects in the regions, might be very high value. I don't know because uh, the, the economic assessment isn't available really on the website. I mean, I did see one project uh, which has a benefit cost ratio of 0 0.5, uh, which means that it's not worth even half the cost of building it. Um, but hopefully some of the other ones are, are very good projects that are going to improve road safety. And the Green Party absolutely supports spending on our regional roads and putting more money into road maintenance in particular and safety upgrades. Um, but now the government's announced this regional package, which apparently has been chosen, just like the Roads of National Significance, entirely by focus groups. That is simply not a responsible way to handle the transport budget, and it's not one that's going to have long-term economic benefits for New Zealand. So while the Green Party does support looking after our regional roads and, in fact, getting better use out of our existing roads, and we can do that at low cost, we do not support this irrational, irresponsible, pork-barrel approach to prioritizing transport projects. And that's clearly what the National Party has done. Um, you know. It is the perfect time to be investing in smart alternatives. That is what New Zealand is missing. So all across the country, it makes sense to invest in safe walking and cycling facilities so our kids can walk and cycle to school because that reduces congestion, reduces the transport bill, and it frees up the roads for those who need to drive. In our larger cities, it makes sense to invest in better buses and trains so that more New Zealanders have the option of getting to work without having to pay a high petrol bill so they can talk on the phone, get some work done, instead of just be sitting there behind the wheel stuck in traffic. That's the best way to deal with congestion. That's a smart, modern, green approach that countries all across the world have successfully implemented. And we want to see more choices for New Zealanders here. That is what the Green Party is campaigning for. It's not unrealistic. It is entirely achievable. And it's really a shame that the National Party is wasting this opportunity.
I call the honourable member Mike Saban. Thank you, sir. Um, look, very pleased to take a call. This particular